Published by Nintendo. Square Enix. Blar blar. And welcome to a new Let's Play of mine. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and this will be my Let's Play of the Game Boy Advance game Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I uh, played Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga a year ago, also a Game Boy Advance game. I didn't think there would be such a long time in between those two Let's Plays, but then again I did take a break of Let's Playing for almost a year and well that time went by pretty quickly actually and now here I am Let's Playing Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the second time. The first time I let, did not Let's Play this in the English language but you will hopefully never find my let's play of this in the German language. Just just putting that out there. I even had the content, I, like I even had the save files on this computer still, but I deleted those. And now we begin a new game, a new journey. Let us watch this introduction. Also, I'm getting ready to, to um, voice act again. I'm getting it up. Uh, I think getting it on par with where I need to be when I let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the check the second chapter. All right, no t talk about that anymore. Let us play. Ahead lies something you need. But to claim it you must lose something dear. And again, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, that was our introduction. There's gonna be a lot of dialogue though, a lot. I give Sora my normal vi voice, obviously. About the other two, hmm. Looks like nobody's home. Is, is, are you gonna, are you gonna like me if I do that through the whole Let's Play? Well, he's a duck, I'm sorry. Looks like nobody's, nobody's home. You sure we should just barge in like this? We have to, if we're gonna find the king. <gasps> the king! Kick Mickey's here! Maybe, maybe not. Something told me he'd be here, that's all. Really? But, now that you mention it, I was thinking the same thing. Are you serious? So was I! One look at this castle and I n just knew they are here. Well, what do you know? Great minds think alike, I guess. <laughs> guess again, this can't be mere coincidence. Why, Jimny? Don't tell me that. I felt it too. Gosh, maybe it's contagious. Or maybe something funny is going on. I think we should check it out. Okay. 
Hey, where are you going? To check it out. What's the matter? Scared? D don't be ridiculous. Come on, Goofy. Okay, but we should shut the door behind us. Sora? Who is that? It must be a it must be a heartless. Let's see how it, how it handles my magic. Thunder. Huh? Huh? That's that's odd. Thunder. Thunder. Th thunder. Um. Fire. Blizzard! Hmm? I don't get it. Why isn't my magic working? I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and ability you knew. Though the forgetting does not end there. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way of things in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Yes. Here you will meet people you know, people you miss. Look, there's no one... Riku? You mean Riku? R he is here? Do you want to find him? If you do... What did you do? I sampled your memories, and from them I made this. This is the key to reuniting with those you hold dear. Good catch. What is this, a card? And how can you throw it this fast? And this precise? A promise. Use that card and press on, you will find your friend. Hold the card before you, the door will open and beyond it a new world. C plus control pad, select a card, Sora only has one card now. A button, confirm. Traverse town. I cannot select anything, what is going on? How odd. Like this? No, like that. Yes, go Sora. To lose and claim a new, or to claim a new only to lose. Come on, guys, let's go. Wait, this can't be right, we're in Traverse Town. It isn't reality that you see. This town's an illusion, conceived by our memories ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We're two heads short. You got me running in circles. All right. Donald! Goofy? Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They are at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards and their strength will be yours again. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you will pick them up without fail. Cards you pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. He don't care. The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and time again. Cards that are the hearts of your friends. 
Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a door stands in your way, cards are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. Be better. Jump! Tap. Or dodge roll. That's really hard with the joystick, you know? First, think of yourself. Move, then use the cards. Bloop. I guess he wants me to use a couple of cards. Okay, good enough. Good! Every move you make causes a card to disappear. So I can't scratch my nose anymore. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out and I will show you. I've got a... I've got an idea, you know? Too many cards. There, you have no more cards and without them no power. This is the end of the line. Actually, if you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards return to you, and they will. Bloop, bloop. The strength of your heart brought back the last cards. You can recall spent cards at any time, you need only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. The cards are by no means unlimited, use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle and choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. The four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use cards from a different category, one must press select. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending. But it is up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget it. Defend? Defend? I think over the course of this game, I will very rarely defend anything. Are you tall, right? Where have you been? You tell us! When we opened the door, there was this weird light. And the rest of is a big blank. Well, try to remember what happened. I need to keep my journal up to date. Hey, wait a second. Donald, where'd you get the new duds? You're too goofy. Someone's been, somebody's been messing with our clothes. The cards again. That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. From here on, you walk alone. You mean we can't go with him? That's not fair. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course! You want me to go alone? Fine, I can take care of myself. Hmm, the hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the avenues of latent memory and you shall meet somebody, someone dear to you. I have a really bad feeling about this. Relax, Jimny. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. You can perform the following actions in the field. Move, swing keyblade, jump. How diverse. To open the doors in the field, strike them with your keyblade. Don't do that in real life, though. 
Key of Beginnings. Alrighty, we can also strike these lampposts. Okay, the game just made me lie. Yep, evidently we can evident- if you- well... It's not- okay, fine. We have one card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use. Yep, we have a whole bunch. The number you see in the middle of the screen is the criterion for opening the door. The criterion displayed now means that the door will open with a value of 1 or greater. You need to pick a card that meets this criterion. Cards have marked values from 0 to 9. Zero cards marked 0 are special cards with, which meet all criteria. The card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used at special doors. This is evidently not a special door. Do 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 By the way, I have been known to hum with the music a lot, so you will have to get used to that. Usually when I edit my videos, I line up my audio and the humming, but if the worst happens, there will be desync and I will not be humming with the music as I would be humming with the music in real life. So if you understood what I just said, you can already be happy and I hope you will forgive that habit of mine. The swirling crystal in front of Sora is called the save point. Stand near it and press the A button to open the save menu. Did I just press the A button? I wonder. Saving complete. Aside from saving at a save point, you can also quick save anywhere in the field. Open the game menu by pressing start, choose quick save and press the A button. Striking objects in the field with your keyblade yields various results. Try striking the barrel. I, I just wanted to say what barrel, but... Oh! Green bubbles! Nice! Kingdom key. Inanimate objects aren't the only things you want to hit. Touching Heartless on the uh, field starts a battle. But you can strike the Heartless first to gain the upper hand. Like this. Wait. No. No. Oh, fine. There is a slight problem right here, because... Ah, okay, there is a... yeah. There is something you will learn later on. In, like, one episode. Next episode we will learn this. And it is pretty vital for my strategy of fighting battles. Alright. Also, another thing as a little disclaimer that I forgot to mention on the title screen. My way of recording. I'm not... I haven't recorded this yesterday. I can promise you that. This will all, most likely the entire Let's Play actually, be recorded in advance. If you comment on this video, you will not change the flow this Let's Play takes. You will make a certain Let's Player pretty happy by commenting on his videos, but um, that doesn't mean that you can actually interact with what happens in the Let's Play. I don't think. Anyways, I'm not gonna upload this tomorrow. I'm not gonna... Mm. It's unlikely. You can see around this around this screen you have a little, I, I call it, overlay. And uh, it makes the 4x3 um, resolution look nicer without black bars on the right and left. Because I highly doubt that you have a 4x3 screen. They are usually 16x9. And thus you will would have... Uh, um, black bars on the left and the right side while watching this YouTube video but instead I put a good-looking picture I don't know what it looks like now uh, uh, at this point but I put a picture there so be happy that that well was actually pretty rough work let us head into the next room though it's only been 20 minutes and I usually have 20 to 25 minute long videos we we might as well uh, fight a couple of heartless here. I really can't do what I want to do. Alright, fine. 
At least the enemies are weak. Ouch! Ah, well, shouldn't say that too loud. What do you mean I can defend? With what? How can I defend? I can pause. I don't think I can defend. I wouldn't know if I could defend. Goofy! That won me over. Meeting ground. Obviously various room cards have various effects. I will uh, explain them in a bit, but right now I'm not particularly used to the English language. I, of course, if you give me the German words for all these things, I will immediately know, oh, that's that, and that does that. But in the English language, I'm not as confident in myself as I would be otherwise. Because it is a little, you know, special. HP boost, CP boost, slights. Slates. No, slides. Slates? Slays. Not entirely sure how to call that. Sliding dash. Slide toward distant targets for a close range attack. Three attack arts of the same type. Total value 10 to 15. By the way, review deck. We have used up 261 points of our possible 752. And this uses up 13. If I put this in, it works. So I can put this card to where it wait no 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 I want that in there ah like this like this I can make space and then I can put this card here and I have I now have one more card in my active menu come on hit that guy in the face all right this fight good riddance so weak so weak. I like. Do want three enemies. Can do this all day. This is kind of a grindy game. So if if I don't um, grind a lot and clear out all the rooms and beat all the enemies, I will have significant problems while playing this game. No, you won't. I'm probably not gonna make myself very happy if I use ice against you, ice monster. Um, what did I just... What was I just going on about? Oh, right. I will grind a lot in this game. Otherwise, I will get my my ass handed to me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This game is not as easy if you don't spend, like... Well, five hours grinding. I'm being serious. Five hours. Roughly five hours. CP boosts. CP are nice. It makes me be able to use more cards in my deck. And more cards in your deck are something you want. Do, 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 All right. Before I continue onwards, I thank you for watching this first episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of, Mem uh, Chain of Memories. Yes, that's how it's called. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.